everybody but me say everybody. KCMO, born and raised if you ain't get the memo. Slipping in my city is a no. We put down the demo. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bossy. And yes, y'all, I know. I have not been doing my ass bosses like I should. Um, so I do apologize and bear with me. I'm just really trying to get it together. But like I said, I can't make no excuses. It's my fault. But I am going to uh be giving some advice on what I would do or what I think about these certain situations. It is advice. You don't have to take it. And you guys, um, be patient with me. If I haven't read yours yet, I do respond back to some of these in email and I'm trying, I'm going to try to do as many as I can in the video today. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get into this. So you guys, this first one, let's see what it's saying. Oh, and it's a long one. Okay. Let's get into it. It says, hey, Bossy, I love you and your videos. You're amazing. So the reason for my email is, long story, I'm going to try to make it as short as simple as I can. I'm currently in a relationship with my boyfriend. We've known each other for 10 years, dated in high school, broke up, went our separate ways, but now we've been dating for two years. We lived, we lived together, etc. In August, I found out he had brought over one of his ex-girlfriends while I was staying at my mom's. Mind you, up until May, I had been paying all the bills and rent without his help. Anyways, so I find out he brought his girl over in April and that he had been over to her house before as well. In April, we sort of took a break. I went to my mom's because even though I paid for everything, him and his dad don't really get along. So it just made more sense for him to stay in our apartment while we were on our break. Anyways, we took a break and I was staying in my mom's, stayed for about three to four weeks and I went back to our apartment for, for good towards the end of May. The day I went back, I found a used condom wrapper in the bathroom. I was furious, but he said it was his friends. I was skeptical, but I believed him and just put it in the back of my head. So anyways, in August, when I found out he had had his ex over i was furious how could he bring someone over to my home never tell me Ugh. so he apologized and we were trying to work things out his ex told me they didn't do anything and just hang out and just hung out so i was like okay whatever in september i found out i'm pregnant how did i know so I tell him he's upset. This is another long story and he's really upset. He doesn't want to talk to me for a few days. So since we live together, whenever I would get home from work, he would lock himself in the room and I would just stay in the living room watching TV. The third day after I told him he had gotten a new phone and I realized he left his old phone in the couch in the living room. So he leaves this day to hang out with his friends, mom, and I grab his old phone and go through it. On it, I saw text messages that proved he was cheating on me. Brought someone over to my house. Had sex with her in my house. So anyways, I called this girl and I go off on her and she tells me everything. They had sex for the first time at the end of July and she had came over the same day. OMG, you do not know how furious I was. I wanted to kill him. So I text him telling him I know everything and how mad I was. Anyways, long story short, we are still together trying to work it out, but I don't know what to do. I feel like I can't trust him. And when I tell him that he says he's done more than enough for me and that I'm asking for too much, that he doesn't know how to please me, that I'm too emotional, but I'm thinking like, what the hell? You cheated on me. You had sex with someone in my house without a condom. The girl told me this when I called her. Oh, and I also forgot a small fact. He gave me an STD. So yeah, anyways, I don't know what to do. I love him so much. He's my high school sweetheart, but I'm so heartbroken and I don't know if I'm just being dumb for wanting to believe him. What should I do? Okay, I'm going to say this because i really care and this is how i feel i know a lot of people say all, all she do is tell the person to leave uh the other all she does is tell the girls to leave him leave him leave him not in every situation should you have to leave them yes i know once a cheater not always a cheater but it's gonna be hard to trust and it's not like this is like a one-time thing 
he even brought his ex over. She says they didn't do anything, but sometimes these men can train women to say anything. Like, why would she have needed to be at your home in the first place? But whatever. Um, and then you're pregnant, and I don't know about the timeline. Maybe I didn't really pay attention to that, but he's having sex unprotected with these women at that, and he gave you an STD. He could have given you AIDS. I'm not sure what type of STD, you know, you have. Hopefully, it's something that's curable, but at the same time, he's being real reckless, um, irresponsible, and he should know better. And after y'all been together for so long, I mean, he should want to act right. Now, if you want to continue to put up with this, that is up to you. Now, me, what I, especially after the STD scenario, I don't think I would be able to do so, but um, that's just what I would do. I don't think I could handle it. Clearly, he was upset with the whole baby situation, and he's wanted to have his cake and eat it too. Um, but I don't know. But like I said, you only put up with what you can put up with. And if you can keep, keep um, putting up with this, if he continues to do these type of things and has this type of behavior, that's on you. Now, would I stay? No, I wouldn't. But, you know, some things can... I mean... I wouldn't. Yeah, it's okay to give the dude another chance, but it seems like he's done this on more than one occasion. So after that, you know, I probably, I don't have time for the foolishness, so I would probably cut my ties. Okay, so this next one is from a previous ass bossy, like the mother wants to date her son situation when the mother was talking all crazy about uh, she could probably make him feel better than the girlfriend could and all of this craziness well um the actual um person that sent me that email sent me an update so i'm just going to go ahead and read it so it says mother wants to date our son conclusion so here it goes it says hey miss bossy well since the last email things have gotten worse but to clear up one thing Roman is my son from a previous relationship. I was already four months pregnant when I met Ross and he started saying that that's his son and he will be there for him because Roman's real father, aka sperm donor, ran back to Mexico. Immigration was chasing him down for child support. Okay, so this is with his mother when she found out I was pregnant with Ross's first child, Logan, who is two months away. Her first reaction was, how come she got pregnant by you and I didn't? First of all, this mother is insane. What kind of bullshit? Like, okay. The mother said, how come she, you got pregnant by him and she didn't? Okay. Okay. And if the baby doesn't come out with blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin, it's not your baby. Mind you that I'm black and he's white. So, oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, this baby will be brown. So, okay. Anyway, this baby will be brown, curly hair, and hazel or black eyes. I told him that I don't want her anywhere near my children, and he is like, that's my mama, and she will be there. So now we constantly fight over her, his drinking, drugs, etc., to the point that I went into early labor at five months, but my little soldier held on in there, and he is fine. But the bullshit part is Ross was so drunk that he didn't even remember what happened until he called my phone, and my mom told him I was in the hospital, and if I lose the baby, he will end up on the back okay and if i lose the baby he will end up on the back of a milk carton and my dad will make sure of it i know that's right to make all this drama short i moved out got a job and put him on child support but now he's saying i'm wrong and we could have worked it out and got married oh whatever i'm like mf are you serious you stood there and told me i don't give a f if you and that baby die i didn't want the little bastard anyway yet again he apologized saying he will do better but he is not gonna stop drinking or doing drugs because that's what's helping him cope with all the things he's went through growing up his mom be being a drug addict dudes running in and out of his home and not knowing his father who left because he couldn't deal with his mama it's a whole list of things that him and his sister 
says crushed them growing up. His sister D even got pregnant at 13 to get away from their mother. So it's a lot. But I always tell him you should want to do better by your sons so they won't grow up making the same mistakes you did. And he says, I'm not ready yet. Maybe later. What the F? He is willing to throw away me and the kids for his addiction. Now we are at war over my son Roman. I won't let him see him because of his selfishness and stupidity. And now we're going to court over Logan so I can get full custody, which won't be hard because he has warrants and fines for all the dumb shit he's done over the years, which leads up to he doesn't want to help me or willing to change. But I'm moving on and hopefully he will wake up and realize what he is missing. But anyways, you are so... But anyways, thank you so much for the advice. It really helped and that's Roman. LOL. He is only... LOL. He is the only reason I wanted to fix the relationship. Oh, well. Oh, this baby is adorable. Oh, your baby is gorgeous. I'm not going to show the picture, but she sent me a picture of this baby. This baby is gorgeous. Mm. Well... I mean, you're doing right. Leave him alone. I mean, clearly the first time I told you he needs to handle his stuff with his addiction, his drug use, his alcohol uh, abuse and everything like that. He's not trying to do that. So, I mean, it just seems so toxic and his mother's insane. Like, she said that. How did you get pregnant by her son instead of her? Like, the whole family seems like some stuff is going on and it's not natural and it's not right. Like, you need to just keep on for you and your sons and take care of that baby that's in the oven. What he's talking is not, it's not going to help at all. It's going to make your life worse and affect those children at the same time. Clearly, he said he's not stopping his drug use or his, um, you know, drinking. So, it's, it's, it's not even worth it. Like, baby girl, take care of you and them kids because... It just seems like a bunch of mess. And that's one thing I don't like. I don't want to be around mess, confusion. I remove myself from all that type of stuff. I have removed myself from so many individuals just off of a humbug. And they probably like, I ain't talked about Cena in forever. Yeah, because I don't need to be around no mess like that. And that just seems like mess and confusion and just, oh my God, so much type of strife. And it's just too much. So yeah, that's my advice for you. But I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do. But sweetheart... You need to just keep on. Don't let that man mess up your life. I just, I'm just saying, just don't. Okay, this next one says, Hey, Bossy, I just wanted to start by saying I love your videos. So let me get into it. I am 21 years old, just turned 21 on September 1st. And yeah, that's how far back I'm behind, y'all. Please forgive me. Um, Let's see. And I miss my place and my heart is torn. Let's start from the beginning. I met a man, let's call him Craig, my sophomore year in high school. And man, I thought it was love at first sight. We had multiple classes and I was overly infatuated by his intellect and started to play hard to get. And he took the bait. When I first got to know him, we talked about class and found any reason to get close to each other. As time went on, I honestly fell deeper into love, lust, etc. With him and he told and he told me he had a son. I am very particular and try not to date men with kids. I still gave him a try, even though he has a lot of emotional baggage from his past, which ultimately is the reason for us ending on top of his family and baby BS and financial instability. Once we took a break, I met a gorgeous man. Let's call him Michael. Me and Michael met in a grocery store. He was a security guard at the time, and I honestly wasn't looking for anything, but he pressed, and I gave him my number, waited about three weeks, and finally messaged him. Michael was sweet, charming, took me on dates, and did everything proper. He met my parents, who fell in love with him, and our relationship was solid. For the past two years, we've been dating, but haven't progressed, and he began to become so wrapped up in work in the past six months i may have seen him once i honestly think michael isn't ready to commit even though he is 28 his ex cheated and had a baby not too long before we met and in all honesty we fell out which sucks because i want him to be my husband craig recently came back into my life and old feelings started to rush back and part of me wants him again and part of me wants to make michael my husband 
The final part is saying, leave both alone and live my life. I honestly need some advice in this situation. Sorry the backstory is so long. Okay. So, okay. Why did Craig... Okay, let me let me make sure. Because my baby had came here when I was reading it and kind of interrupted me. So, so, you broke up because, Craig, y'all had... A bunch of issues you had issues with his family with his finances his baby mama drama and all that from what uh, I'm reading but you know was he a good guy I mean if I don't know how this goes because now you've um, gained feelings for your ex at the same time you have feelings for your current man um, I don't really know, sweetie. I mean, you have to make a decision. It's not good for you to string both of these men along. Uh, either stay in the relationship with your in, that you're in and communicate with uh, Michael and let him know uh, how you're feeling. Is it like you're feeling like he's distant or he doesn't want to be in a relationship. See where his head is at. See what he wants. And if he's telling you like, this ain't what's happening no more. This ain't it. This ain't hitting then maybe y'all should go your separate ways, but you want him to be your husband. But if he just feels like the relationship is not for him anymore, maybe talk to him. See how y'all can improve it. If it still don't work, then maybe cut your losses with him. Now, with Craig, the issues you had, it wasn't like him being faithful to you or anything like that. You said it was his family, baby mama drama. Hopefully, it's not like him going back and forth with her as far as being with her. Um, but if you think you want to give him another try, that's not bad either, but you need to take it slow. Make sure you don't jump in too fast. If you decide to go that route, um, get to know him again. Uh, not even saying, and I don't know how long y'all been broken up. You know, things could have, ch you know, happened in that amount of time that y'all haven't been together. Take it slow. Don't just go head first. Um, See where his situation is with the mother of his child. You know, see what was the problem with his finances. You don't want to be taking care of this man. But see if he's made improvements to fix his previous situations. Um, and I mean, if he has, I mean, why not go for it? But at the same time, still take it slow. Don't rush just because you, you know, you was with this man and you got these feelings and you like, all right, I'm in, I got my man back. No, take it slow. Um, but just make sure you still talk to your guy that you're with now to see where your relationship is going before you just jump head first in with the old guy again. Okay. This next one says in love with another man. Hey bossy, it's me again. Who are you girl? I don't know. I'm reading too many emails. Let's see. It says, I wrote you back a while back about my boyfriend always being at his baby mama's house. Okay. I think I remember that, but I get so many crazy emails, honey. I don't know. So, it says, well, this situation is way different. I need help. Lately, my boyfriend and I have been going through this rough stage where we just haven't been clicking. He stopped doing the things he used to do. I just don't feel the love anymore, but I don't know why I can't leave. I do love him, but I feel like I'm holding on to nothing. But anyway, there's this old friend of mine that had reconnected with me and it's turning out to be more than friends. I really love him. He's so sweet and treats me like a queen, I am. I'm 21 now, but I think I'm old enough to know how a woman deserves to be treated. Yes, you are, sweetie. He does everything my boyfriend doesn't do. He texts me daily, calls to see how I'm doing. We talk on the phone all night. My boyfriend and I can't even talk on the phone for 10 minutes without fussing and hanging up. I only talk to my boyfriend once a day and I barely see him. My boyfriend gives me excuses and my friend makes things happen. I know it's wrong to cheat and I should just leave, but it's not that easy to leave someone you've been dealing with since you were 18. Now for, this, now for some reason, my boyfriend is trying to step up a little. But by the time they show you love that you deserve, you don't even want the love from them anymore because it's too late. I want to leave and get with my friend, but I'm scared. What if it's just the devil in disguise? It always starts off sweet and does a 360. I was just going to say that. Oh, it always starts off sweet, then does a 360. I need help. What should I do? P.S. Congratulations on your engagement. Love you, girl. Okay. Thank you so much. Um... Yeah, honey, look, the grass isn't always greener on the other side, but at the same time, 
them kids. But at the same time, if, you know, this guy is giving you that attention you want, treating you right, what woman isn't going to want to, you know, think about dipping over to the other side or maybe even gaining feelings for this person? Your guy, previous, your current guy isn't doing what he needs to do. Have you talked to him about it? And now, all of a sudden, he's trying to do those things and you kind of like, uh, it's too late, I don't think so. Uh, uh. You have to figure out where you want to be. Because now that he's trying to do these things that he should have been doing, you ain't hearing it. You ain't feeling it. It ain't doing nothing for you. You know where you want to be, so just go there. I mean, if you feel like now, uh, you know, y'all relationship has expired, do what you do. But you don't need to play both of them at the same time. You know, it's not wor worth it. You know, because if your man you're with now, your current man was doing that to you with another woman, you would be hot as hell, I'm sure. So, don't do it with them. Either... Try to work it out with your man and hopefully the stuff he's doing, he will continue to do. Even though that's how it happens. They see, oh, she ain't the same. Maybe she's doing something else. Maybe someone else has her attention. I need to hurry up and step up before she leaves. Yeah, that's what it sounds like he may be trying to do. But if it's not working for you, it ain't no point in just wasting his time or your time. Go to the other one. Take your chance. Hopefully, it's good. It stays good. Because, yes, of course, any relationship starts off perfect. And, I mean, they do change over time. But there's still that love. They shouldn't go down all the way down. Um, like, it seems like your relationship has gone down. And, hopefully, this new guy, if you do happen to go that route, keeps it up and just doesn't try to get that just to get you, you know, do all this good stuff dangling in your face and once he got you it's done it's gone you don't want that either but i mean don't stay with your current man which i know i'm going back and forth don't stay with your current man just because you've been with him since you were 18. time doesn't mean you have to stay with that person if y'all miserable it is what it is you don't have to stay with him just like you don't have to stay with a person for kids you don't have to stay with a person just because you've been with them a certain amount of time if y'all not happy y'all not happy okay this next one says hey bossy i want to start off by saying i'm so glad i came across your channel i found you while searching for story time videos i've been binge watching your videos since last night i admire your relationship with your fiance and thought i'd reach out to you for some advice congratulations by the way on your engagement i've been married for five years i recently gave birth to twins oh congratulations and y'all this is from uh september as well so y'all bear with me and if y'all have already, uh, let me just say this. If y'all have already uh, handled these situations y'all were asking advice on, I'm sorry. But I'm just answering them now anyway. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, Let's see here. So, she, she recently gave birth to twins just two weeks ago. My husband confessed that he had been cheating on me while... Oh, my husband confessed that he had been cheating on me with more than one female. He explained that he had done this because he had a lot of anger in his heart towards me as he felt like I didn't love him because he felt that I didn't treat him right. I have to admit, I also had a lot of anger in my heart for my husband, which probably did show and led him to think I didn't love him when I did. The issue I had with him was that he kept all of his exes as friends. They had his cell, he had their cell numbers, and he was also friends with them all in social media. I expressed my concern, but he would say they're just friends and would pretty much argue why it's not an issue for them to remain friends. Long story short, after admitting to the affairs, I decided to forgive and try to work it out. We have counseling coming up. He apologized and acknowledged his faults and says he wants to save his marriage and that he doesn't want to do that again. He also mentioned he had the affairs due to me not giving it up as often as he would like. I decided to forgive him and to move forward with him. But my question is, do you recommend how I can be begin to trust him and not always accuse him? I do see his efforts, but it's hard to not think about the affairs. Also, any advice on how to get the energy to give your man some after a long day of taking care of three kids and cleaning and cooking? LOL. You... LOL, thank you in advance for your help. Okay, well, clearly, 
um, you know, the whole cheating issue, you know, that's not good for anybody to do, man or woman, you know, because you don't want to do a person that you supposedly love like that. But at the end of the day, he must care about you some way. Granted, he shouldn't have done what he did, especially marriage is sacred. You don't do that, you know. You shouldn't cheat, period. But when it comes to marriage, I, I, no, no, no. So, at least he was able to come and tell you this. But at the same time, I mean, he was still wrong. But if he's willing to let you know all his faults, um, tell you he wants to work it out, um, go through counseling, everything like that, that's great. At the same time, I would personally still let him know. You don't need to be Facebook friends with these women. These women are the past. They need to stay in the past. You were with these women. You cheated on me with what? Some of these women, I'm assuming. You need to cut ties with them. If he's willing to fight for his marriage and try to make things better with you and him, then he needs to uh, change his phone number so that they don't have it and that he uh and you know he needs to not have their numbers they need to get off all of social media me i just feel like that is so disrespectful no it doesn't have to, you don't need that like that's not cool it's not cool at all and if he's willing to do anything to make his marriage work then that's one thing he has to do also with the counseling um and as far as you and your sex life goes i mean you know, don't get me wrong. All women be tired, especially after taking care of kids and working and things like that. But you have to really try to make time for your man because things like this, it to be honest, it can happen. If you don't give it up, your man will start feeling unloved. They'll feel like they need to go out and do this. At the same time, men should have restraint and still know that, okay, I'm going to just have to talk to my woman, talk to my lady, let her know what's up. Because he shouldn't be straying. But at the same time, you can't be withholding your goods. That's your husband. I mean, you have to let him know that you love him. That you want him there. I mean, it can be hard. But sometimes, even if you don't feel like it. I mean, give your man some loving. Even if it's for five minutes. Hell, sometimes five minutes to do the job. <laughs> That's your husband. You have to let him, you have to show him that you love him, that you want your marriage to work as well. Y'all can't just be in this marriage and just not communicate, not spend time with each other, not do things in the privacy of y'all bedroom together. It can be hard, but you have to want to make time to do these things with your husband. I have five kids and I'm tired all the time. I'm not even going to lie. I'm always tired. But at the same time, I love my man. I love being with my man. So even if he got to wake me up out my sleep, you know, I might uh, fight it for a little bit, but then I think about it. Nah, nah, because, you know, I ain't got time for no these uh, outside problems. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to make time for it. That's all I can tell you. So, good luck, and I hope it's working out for you. Okay, you guys, so that was actually um, the last one I'm doing for today. Um, so, yeah, those were my takes on these situations. Um, please feel free to give any of these ladies or gentlemen, um, you know, any advice you would want to give them as well. Your feedback is appreciated, but at the same time, please be respectful. Um, and yeah, you guys, I guess I will talk to y'all later and see y'all in my next video. Bye loves.